Has the ACOS for your Amazon PPC campaigns been going up, but you really don't know why? Well, in this video, I'm going to go over two reasons why your ACOS is going up and what you can do to fix your Amazon PPC campaigns. If you want more content like this, consider subscribing to my channel if this is your very first video you're watching and joining my private Facebook group where on both channels I'll be releasing exclusive Amazon PPC training with palatable tips that you can use to implement and excel your Amazon business. Alright, so the very first reason why your Amazon ACOS has been going up is simply because you've recently received some negative reviews. Now, what happens with negative reviews is that on the Amazon platform, it's Amazon gives your product a particular level of trust when you start out. So if you have a, good, a decent amount of reviews and you don't have too many negative reviews, you'll start getting... Uh, impressions at a lower cost and the reason for that is because Amazon trusts your product because you let's say your product is just starting out and you have let's say 15 to 20 reviews and they're all five stars well, Amazon trusts your product so what happens is if your product has a higher rating Amazon's gonna give you more impressions at a lower cost a lot of Amazon sellers don't know that so the lower so when you get a negative review and let's say you've done nothing to your campaign. So this is a question I get asked a lot. They all I have a lot of sellers that have very profitable campaigns and like from one week to the next their ACOS doubles. And so I'll take a look at it, especially for, for some of my larger clients, and we look at the listings and it's very interesting. You know, the data on the Amazon side of things, there's no difference, right? Bids are the same, nothing's changed, no variables on the Amazon PPC side of things have changed. Now, outside of the Amazon PPC uh, variables, when we look at the actual listing, we see that there's a few new re reviews and uh, one or two of those reviews were one-star reviews. And so that's something I've seen repeatedly in not just our large clients, but also in our clients with just one SKU. And that was a very interesting find. So basically what happens is even if you get one to two reviews, um, right away that first week or two your ACOS is going to go up because Amazon's trust factor lowers for your particular product and so that's one of the reasons why your ACOS is going up so you can even check that in your own business right now if you let's say had profitable campaigns look at your listing and see if you've re recently received some negative reviews and if you have that's gonna be the reason so what do you do in this particular situation so let's say you just got a one or a couple two-star reviews recently on your listing and you start to see your impressions have lowered and uh, your conversions have decreased a little bit because it's not just Amazon charging you more but customers are gonna trust your product less when they look at the reviews so when they look at the reviews they're more likely to bounce off if recently you just got some negative reviews so the best way to fix that would be to, depending on how hard of a hit your ACOS has taken, if it's taken a really hard hit, well, the best way to eliminate a negative review is through extremely uh, well, cust extremely good customer service and by just getting more sales. So paying the piper to basically get more sales so that way through sheer volume, you can uh, replace that negative review and be on your way back to a lower ACOS. So generally, when you re receive some negative reviews, add a listing coupon to your, to your product, let's say 5%. So that way, if you did get a couple negative reviews, but a customer sees that you have a coupon, and let's say you're already priced competitively and your competitors don't have a listing coupon, well, at that point, a customer can really consider, hmm, you have a better deal. There's more of a... Um, an impulse impulsivity in place when you have a listing coupon so just increase your sales velocity and add a listing coupon so that way you can start to see your ACOS go down and again this is not gonna happen overnight okay this is gonna take at least a month to really get the sales going increase your sales velocity add a listing coupon to increase your conversions and when you start getting more conversions Amazon's gonna make the PPC side of things a little bit cheaper and inexpensive for you to purchase impressions and so listing coupons are just going to help 
everything overall. So add the listing coupon and once you start getting sales, have a strong email follow-up sequence in place and you can check out the video that I recently did right here where I go over how to make sure you increase your reviews by piggybacking off of your top competitors. It's a very strong strategy so I recommend watching it to help you increase your verified reviews and just through sheer sales velocity and strong follow-up eventually within 30 days might even take 45 days you'll replace that negative review so that the most recent reviews of course all verified but the most recent reviews are five star reviews and that's going to be the strongest way to bury the hatchet on that negative review just through sheer sales velocity and you're going to start to see you your acos campaigns go back up to profitable levels now i will also say if your product is not high quality and let's say you got five reviews and one of them is already a negative review or let's say you have 50 reviews and 10 5 to 10 are negative use the negative reviews as data to make your product better instead of just getting pissed off at the customer and saying well they have no idea what they're talking about really consider what this human being is saying and what they did not like about the product and use that as data to make your product better so not to digress I'll probably get into this in another video but I'll show you the journey of an Amazon seller is not just stamping a logo on a product and they the the market gets what you give them you actually need to use the market data can to continually make your product better over time but I'll get into that uh, can of worms in another training and uh, so now let's get into strategy number two okay so the second reason why your ACOS is going up is because you're losing keyword ranking organically and again this feeds off of the first reason but to go into a little bit more detail if you're starting to lose keyword ranking for a few of your keywords let's say well again your trust factor is gonna lower so what Amazon sees Believe it or not, if you're ranked higher for key, like top of page one or on page one for keywords, you're going to get a lot more PPC impressions um, because Amazon just trusts your product. Um, so if you start falling to page two or page three for keywords, your PPC impressions are going to lower because Amazon's going to see that your product is not converting well on page one. So if it's not converting well on page one, then they're going to make your PPC a little bit more expensive to purchase bids relative to the impression share because you're starting to fall back on impressions and you're starting to fall back on organic rank. So your rank does play a key role in profitable PPC campaigns. Now it's not the only role, but it's one of the reasons that if you, again, you've changed none of the variables for your particular product, uh, for your PPC campaign setup, but you're starting to see that it's just getting more and more expensive. You should really be tracking your keyword ranking to see if you're falling off of page one for certain keywords. And if you are, make a nest and separate campaign as an exact match and put those keywords, let's say you fell off of page one for five keywords, put those five keywords in their own separate campaign as an exact match campaign and up the bid 20 to 30% above Amazon's suggested bid so that way you can push your way back to page one rank for those keywords get that organic velocity going again and that will feed the overall performance of your uh, Amazon PPC campaigns and you'll start to see your ACOS come down because you're re-ranking your products on page one for those keywords so if you're struggling with your Amazon PPC campaigns consider using my company Zonrush we can help build your Amazon PPC campaigns to profitable levels and help you succeed as an Amazon seller for the long term. And don't forget, if this is your very first time watching one of my YouTube videos, consider subscribing to my channel and joining my private Facebook group so that way you never miss a new Amazon PPC series training. And actually, within the next seven days, I'm gonna be releasing an exclusive video every single day regarding Amazon PPC. So turn on your notification bell so you do not miss this awesome new content coming out. And as always, guys, I'll see you on the next video.